Section 7.3 is talking about the measures of a spread. Uh, he's explaining the mode. The mode is if you have a set of data and one number is repeated more than once, it is called the mode. So the mode is the number that is repeated the most. So in this set, for example, number five is repeated twice and all the other numbers repeated once. So the, the mode here is five. In this set, each number is repeated once. So there is no mode for this set. And in this set, you have number two and you have number four repeated twice. So the mode here is number two and number four. So there can be more than one mode in a set of data. If you have a group of data in this way, uh, to be able to get the mode, you need to get the something called density. If you remember the histogram that we used to, to draw for, for a data like this, you're saying from 90 to 110, this is 20. This distance is 20. Your frequency is 40 so you should go up until 20 because this is like an area of a triangle the side is 20 and the whole area is 40 so you will go up until 20 so you have your whole area which is the frequency as 40 so here you need to to be able to get the mode you need to get the density so you will divide the frequency divided by this spam so you can get the density and then you will know which item is mostly repeated so 110 minus 90 is 20 40 divided by 20 is 2 so here your density is 2 120 minus 110 is 10 30 divided by 10 is 3 so the frequency here is the, the density here is 3 here the frequency density 140 minus 120 is 20 50 divided by 20 is 2.5 and here 170 minus 140 is 30, 30 divided by 30 is one. So here, this is your densities, the frequency density. So the most one that is repeated is this one. So we call this the, the mode of the set of this data. So your mode here is 110, comma uh, 120. Uh, the range is the difference between the highest value of the set and the lowest value of the set. So if you have a set like this, the range is 99 minus 0, so it is 99. The interquartile is the difference between the third quartile minus the first quartile. The third quartile is the one that uh, happens at 75 and the first quartile is the one that happens at 25. So for if you, if you take this example, uh, my my I will split the data half so my first quartile it will happen in the middle of this table you will find that the middle values is 21 and 24 so the average between 21 and 24 is 22 and a half and the third quartile is happening between 70 it's happening the average of these two values 74 plus 75 divided by 2 so it will be 74.5 so my third quartile is 74.5 my first quartile is 22.5 74.5 minus 22.5 is the uh, interquartile so it is very simple you get the first quartile you get the third quartile this minus this it will give you the interquartile and the middle quartile is the uh, is the median so it's it's the middle of the middle of this uh, set uh, the last uh, learning point is the box and whisker plot he's telling you that any group of data you can draw it in a box and whisker plot where your first value will be the minimum value of the given data your last value will be the maximum value so if you took this for example this set your minimum is zero your maximum is 92 q1 q2 q3 this is the first quartile the middle quartile or the second quartile or the median and this is the third quartile and you can use a ruler to to put uh, approximately where these points because this will not be equal and these distance are not equal your your first quartile may be some something very near the minimum your third quartile may be something near the middle so you can use a ruler or an estimate to draw this box uh, to a scale up to your best level if you take this example to uh, to draw the box and whiskers plot, you can first the minimum value is 24.09 and the maximum value is 72.99. So you know the start point and the end point of your graph. The first quartile, these are eight and these are eight. So you have 64 numbers, uh, 64. So your first 
quartile 64 times 0.25 is 16 and 17 so your first quartile will be the average of the 16 and 17 numbers the middle quartile will be the average of the 32 and the 33 numbers and the fourth quartile will be the average of the 48 and the 49 numbers so you will take the average of these two you will get the first quartile the average of these two you will get uh, quart uh, the middle quartile or the median the average of these two is the third quartile and you will uh, draw it Taman he tried to draw it to a scale so as you see uh, quartile 1 and 2 and th uh, 3 are very near to each other the minimum and the maximum value is, is very far so as, as much as as much as he can he's trying to draw it to a scale uh, course practice question number one he's giving you the graph uh, of cumulative frequency for data collected for the number of raffle tickets sold by a group of 200 students he wants to the nearest multiple of 10 the lower quartile of tickets sold this is the number of tickets so he want this and he's giving you he wants the lower quartile means uh, the 25 percent frequency so this is your frequency line so 25 percent of the 200 is 50 so you will go to the 50 it is here you will go down this is 50 60 70 so it is happening the lower quartile is happening at 70 at this point the upper quartile is 75 percent so i will go to 150 it is intersecting here it is 110 so this is 100 110 so since the lower is 70 the upper is 110 the interquartile is this minus this so 110 minus 70 it will be 40. Uh, b he wants the median number of the tickets sold falls between which number and which number median is the middle so 100 it is here between this and this if you go down on the graph this is 90 and this is 100 so the median happens be between the median happen at the frequency 100 it is approximately 90 to 100 tickets so 90 to 100 tickets the nearest multiple of tens the 95th percentile of tickets 95th percentile i'll multiply 95 percent times 200 this is happening at 190 so i will go to 190 which is this it is cutting my graph here so this is 160 150 160 so the 95th percentile is 160 tickets question two he wants the uh, interquartile range for this set of data interquartile is the third quartile minus the first quartile so this is cut into half this is the first quartile 36 this is the uh, third quartile so 86 minus 36 is 50 so my interquartile is 50 what is the range of the set of data he wants the range is the biggest number minus the smallest number in the set so 97 minus 1 is 96 Question 4. The grades of 130 students were recorded. The following data in the table uh, are there. He wants the model class of the above distributed distribution. So I need to get the, uh, the frequency, the frequency density. This uh, 0 to 10, so this is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1, so your density here is 1. 40 minus 10 is 30. 30 divided by 30, your density here also is 1. 60 minus 40 is 20, 40 divided by 20 is 2, 90 minus 60 is 30, 2 divided by 20 divided by 30, so this is 2 over 3, 100 minus 90 is 10, 30 divided by 10 is 3. So the highest frequency density here is this one, 3. So the model class is 90 to 90 and 100, between 90 to 100. Here he wants the model class of the above distribution, so the same thing, 150 minus 140 is 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1, my density here is 1, 60 minus 50, 10, 45 divided by 10 is 4.5, this is 10, 35 divided by 10 is 3.5, this is 10 divided by 10 is 1, so the highest density is this class, so the model class is 150 to 160.
This table shows the number of pets uh, in each of a hundred household in the neighborhood and he wants the mood. The mood is the number that is mostly repeated. This is repeated 20, 12, 38, 20. So this is the highest frequency. So the model is 2. The mood is 2.